house for the night but I got one hour of sleep because it's about two no no, no 3 20 a.m about there and Orlando is an hour and a half away from Port St. Lucie and our flight leaves at 7 30 so we should be in Jamaica by around 8 50 I think now we're at to Jeff the Orlando Airport. Tour Terminal A. I never see no security line like this oh look at this I was on the flight by 9.37. It was actually a very nice and smooth ride. I think that we flew with Delta, but I can't really remember. This was the view as soon as we got off the flight. It looked so nice. And now we are headed to the car rental place because my dad drives when we go to Jamaica. Take a now we're at this restaurant called Pelican. This is Navi. <laughs> the Pelican. It reminds me of the song in Grenada. This is the restaurant sign up close and this is what it actually this looks like entrance. once you get past the sign. It was actually a really nice restaurant and had a nice view of like a little waterfall nice. in the background. Um, this is the waterfall. Very nice, very calming. And just let me tell you, the food okay. was actually very good. We ended up getting the sampler meal. It was fried dumpling, ackee and sawfish, callaloo, and plantains. And we head back to the airport to pick up my aunt, which is my dad's sister, because she had a flight that landed later than ours. And then we headed to her house, and it took us three hours to get there because she lives in St. Elizabeth. This is room one. This is also the front door, the kitchen. <laughs> Dining room. <laughs> The garage and another room, living room, and let's go upstairs. Another living room, open area, and this is me. And Another kitchen. Bathroom. Another room. And a balcony. I love the chairs me again so guys her house is really big that's why it kind of took me a while to show you guys all around and that's still not even the whole house it's really big so then we ended up going to this restaurant called greco's i believe it was really good we went there later that night then i ended up getting a drink i don't even remember the name that's how you know the drink was hitting and then we got all this food just a bunch of different stuff festival steamed fish um lao mein i got um i think this was the jerk crab or escovich crab something like that i don't know but i just know i was eating crab a lot because i love it okay and then we went to some party at the deer's bar that party was not bad it was okay then the next day then this was my aunt's husband. He was just playing around with her bra that he found. He is hilarious. <laughs> and then this is just a little bit of a beef patty that I ate for breakfast. Then I never in my life ate food as good as this. I promise you. This is fried dumplings, fried bread fruit, kalaloo, ackee, and sawfish. I will tell you no lie. This was the best ackee and sawfish I ever ate in my life. I promise to God on my life. It was so good. Like before this, I thought I didn't like ackee and sawfish until I ate this one. And I was like, whoa, I never ate it and it tastes like that. Never in my life. If I could buy this somewhere and it tastes like this, I'll eat it every day. No lie. We're about to go to Lover's Leap right now. This is the outfit for the day. 
I wore this in Grenada too. I'll include the picture here. But like I said, I rewear clothes, so hmm, I don't care. But I'm about to get in the car. I undid my hair from that hairstyle. I didn't really like it. This looks more natural, even though you know it's a wig, but the other hairstyle, it made it look like a wig, like very wiggy. Like, I can't explain it. I'll show y'all what I mean. So now we're at Lover's Leap. This is supposed to be the couple that jumped, Mizzy and Tunky, together forever. And this is the sign lovers leap and this is the view over here and the lighthouse so i'll get a closer view of the view and i'll let you guys know the backstory on why they jumped the inside of lovers leap bar hi whoa this is nice and high oh my gosh it's so high that oh no it's so high that it's foggy up here it's nice right yeah very nice the story that they give would never be no tell the story this is for my youtube vlog i don't know the story oh <laughs> That's the cliff they went to. Oh, oh. that's the cliff. Because they say they jumped off. So I don't think it's like from up here. I am thinking that's the cliff. That they went off. Yeah, yeah, so I'm thinking that's the cliff. You see the cliff? Yeah. Over there? Right. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Every time we come here, I'm like, take me to Love is Leap. I have to go to Love is Leap. So I, we always come here because I just love the view. It was closed during COVID. This is the nice, no. famous <laughs> sign. No, that's me. I, I love, love it. it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it too. Oh, I gotta take a picture right here. Yeah, I'm gonna do you and then you do. Okay. It's her grad. Like Will. So, this is the view from Lover's Leap. It's very windy up here, as you can see. Oh, there on the top. We all took a big group picture at the end right before we left and this is how it came out. Now we're at the legendary KFC in Jamaica. And don't get me wrong, I think that KFC in Jamaica has better KFC than Grenada, hands down. Like I showed you guys in my Grenada vlog, they were giving me raw chicken. That KFC in Grand Ants, mm -mm, no good. But the one here, bussin'. And we're getting the barbecue chicken. They don't have that in no other island. In Grenada, they have like the the hot, the honey barbecue, but not the regular barbecue. This one tastes different. And the line is super long, as you can see. You just gotta really look and see how long the line is. I feel like only because it's raining, that's why it's not out the door. But when you come before, the line is usually out the door. But I stayed in the car because it's raining. This is what the delicious chicken looks like. I'm reminiscing. I wish I could bite it through the phone. This is outfit number two. Okay. I'm... This is it. It's like a <clears throat> pants, but it looks like a skirt almost. It's super fluffy. And I'll show what it looks like um, on Chi and where I got it from. Okay. Thank you. Yes, very pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. 
Okay. Now we're at the restaurant called Jack Sprat. Seafood and pizza. Let's get back to the chain of life and find a this is what the food looked like at this restaurant. I think basically all of us got fish or some type of seafood. It wasn't bad, but I wouldn't say it was as good as the other restaurants. But it was very good. The scenery and the ambiance was very nice and the food wasn't nasty. I liked it. I never knew it, but they have a train in Jamaica. I never I knew any island had a train. Not that one's no. Oh, I guess it's closed. Now we're at Alligator Pond, the legendary beach where they sell the legendary food. And let me tell you, after going here, I see why it's legendary, okay? I see why. It is so hot. I'm so hot. Thank God I wore this short outfit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Maybe you guys can share something? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know it was on me. At Alligator Pond, they have a deep freezer where they let you choose any seafood that you want fresh because they have like fishermen that go and get the seafood and then they just freeze it and then sell it to you. So you choose whichever thing that you see in the freezer that you want and they make it for you fresh, very fresh. Each deep freezer has something different. The first one had fish. This one has like crab and a bunch of different stuff, but I wanted crab. This is the crab I'm getting. And the sand is black. Yeah. They have a, a beach like that in Grenada. Um, what do you feel like eating? I have to look. We finally found a place to sit. I love the, the sitting areas that look like boats, but they're too packed. All the boats were taken like this. No, Thank crab. you. Oh, this looks good. I don't even know how you're going to manage that one. Yeah, Cassie. It's huge. What do you want to take? Look at how big this Seven. crab is. It is huge. Oh my gosh. And look at this fish. Do my best. And vegetables. Then I got me the red striped lemon and this mixed drink pineapple juice, Malibu, and gin. Yeah, they cracked it for you. Kinda. Yeah, they cracked it. Oh yeah. Ah. yeah. They cracked it up. Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> oh, when I told you that food was so good, that was like the best food I ever ate in Jamaica. Ever. And Jamaica has good food too. <laughs> the best crab I ever ate in my life. That crab was so good. I had to sit there for a long time <laughs> and savor it every bite. What are you holding, baby? So right now, we're on our way to a party. I don't know what the name of the party is. I don't know what type of party it is. But I think it's a party that's been going on from the day and we're going there in the night. This is my outfit. I'll show a picture. I wore this outfit before, but I never posted it. I'll show y'all. Okay. The party is called Shipwreck. This is the entrance leading into the party. We did get there a little bit early, so when we got there, it wasn't really that many people there. But later on in the night, a lot of people start coming. Now we're at Lasting's Bar. Or hastings, lastings, lashings. There's a sign. Lashings. This is me. This is my outfit. Here is giving to Loom vibes. This is the view. Looks nice. So this drink was called Car Crash. It was like a red stripe inside of tequila or something, something, something. And this drink, I don't even remember the name of this drink, but this one tastes way better.
because I don't really like plain red stripe. I love the flavored ones, okay? I finally got the red stripe melon drink that I've been looking for everywhere. And it was hard to find, and they finally had it at this restaurant. This is just the view when we were leaving the restaurant because that restaurant was very high up on a hill, which is why it had such a nice view. And this is us coming down from that hill. Um, it was very scenic, but now we're going in the opposite direction to get back to the house. Look at what they put all the bottles in. A little fish at Treasure Pig. Now we're back at Greco's and this is the crab I'm gonna get here. As y'all can tell, jerk crab is one of my favorite things to eat. Oh yes. This is from Greco's. I hope this one tastes better than alligator pond. As y'all can see, I took my hair out. No more wig for me. Yeah, we just went to that restaurant called Greco's. Sorry if I can't really look in the camera because this flashlight is bright. But we just went to the restaurant called Greco's. They were not all that. Them people was rude as hell. Okay? It was rude. And um, I recommend Alligator Pond way more than Greco's. But now we're at some block party or something. And they went outside and I told them I'm going to stay in the car because I'm too tired. Okay? So I'm going to go home. And maybe I'll get out the car, but I doubt it. Because it's freezing cold. I did not know Jamaica gets cold like this. We're way up in the hills and it's freezing cold. But yeah, I'll show y'all when I get back to the house. <laughs> I got two cheesy beef patties from Juicy Beef. And they are delicious. Show you guys when I bite into it. Um, yeah, as well as well. yeah. Sometimes we're gonna... Now we're at Frenchman's Bay. We stopped at this particular restaurant just to get drinks, but let me tell you that they have a really, really nice view here. Like one of the best views compared to all the restaurants that we've been to. But let me just say, I think it's on like a private beach or something, but that view is very nice. This is the menu. This time we went back to Alligator Pond because I just had to get some more of their food before I went back home. That food was too good. This fish was good too. Jerk fish with okra on top and steamed bammy. Oh my god, it was so good. Got our bags and we're back at the Montego Bay Airport. And our flight leaves at 9 and it's about 7 something. We ended up just eating some food at the airport before we got on the flight because we had to leave so early that nothing else was open. This is us on the actual flight. And then within a matter of an hour or an hour and a half, we were back in Orlando. This is us on the monorail thing or train, whatever you want to call it. Then we stopped and got food before I went home. And that is it. That is the end of my trip. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Don't forget that my next video is going to be my Chicago vlog. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.